What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex. In this video, I'm going to be going over five things I don't want in the new Batman Arkham game. So this is kind of the complement to Friday's video where I talked about five things that I do want. And like I said in the last video, I'm going to try and not make this literally just like the reverse. I'm not going to say like, well, I said I do want this. So basically in this video, I don't want the same thing. You know, I'm not going to do it like that. These are going to be five brand new things that I'm going to discuss. I, of course, want to hear from you guys in the comments below very, very quickly before I get into this video a couple of updates we do have a discord server now I don't necessarily know how this thing works I don't know how to tell you guys to do it it's called podcast now the number is pound five nine two four um, I'll leave that in the description as well so that is our discord server you guys want to join feel more than welcome to join the server and we can talk about Arkham there as well and the final thing is I know I've been kind of previewing these future videos the Monday video didn't get seen by as many people as normal so I do want to quickly go over that again today is this, you know, five things I don't want in it. Friday is going to be more of the announcement kind of video. I'm going to be talking about the Origins anniversary, if we could get an announcement there. Next week, there'll be videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. At least the Monday, Wednesday one will be more kind of like these kind of videos. More fun, more discussion based on the actual game. If the game does get announced next week or gets announced whenever, obviously a lot of these things would change on the fly. Okay, so there's your update for the day. Happy Wednesday to everybody, and here we go. So five things I don't want. Now, to quickly go over the five things I did want, I'll very, very quickly do it. Go watch the video for more in-depth. I do want the Joker. I want the Riddler without uh, Riddler challenges. I want more ways of traversing the world, so like Batwing, Batmobile, all sorts of things like that. I want a living city, however they manage to do that, and I also want combat upgrades. I want them to take a step forward with combat. So again, go watch that video for me explaining each of those in-depth, but these ones are going... Now, here's the deal. I'm going to be starting this it's not necessarily super specific game aspects so I'm going to be going over in detail what I mean the first thing I don't want in this game is focusing on too many villains at the same time or having too many villains be the main villain now this was obviously a problem with Arkham Knight and even now Arkham City was a phenomenal game Arkham City in my opinion is the best Batman game I don't think it's it's not my favorite but overall I think it's just the most complete the best Batman game we've gotten so far Far, okay, that's just my personal belief. One of the weaker parts in that is I, I did like Hugo Strange, but I think he could have been done better. I think they kind of dropped the ball with him the same way that they kind of dropped the ball with Scarecrow. I thought Scarecrow was such an incredible villain. I really was like, all right, they can make, I mean, this is cool, right? They're going to make him the main villain of Arkham Knight, but then you actually had the Arkham Knight. Then you actually had Joker, which by the end of the game, pretty much Joker was the main villain, and Scarecrow was like the bottom. Like, I wasn't even like worried about him as being the main villain even though he starts off the game he's the primary threat they had too much going on okay and, and you could argue they've been trying to do and here's well here's the deal I know what you're gonna say well that's Rocksteady now some people still think that I'm talking about Rocksteady half the time I make these videos I get it I understand that I'm just going with past examples okay you could even arg ar argue Arkham Origins I mean Black Matt that one was more like uh, trickery like we thought it was gonna be one villain and it turned out to be the Joker Basically, I want more of the Arkham Asylum, Arkham Origins, you could even argue, uh, like based ideas where we focus on one villain. It can be Arkham Knight. We can have the, the, the mission wheel. We can have 10, 15 side villains. We can have the nemesis system. We can have so many things, and all of those things I do want. I want like 10, 15 villains. I want villains we've never seen in a Batman game in this game. I want to be able to go through some quests with them. I want to be able to take them down. Again, I want that to be kind of like integrated in some sort of nemesis system. I want all that, but when it comes to the main villain, if it's going to be like the League of Assassins versus the Court of Owls, fine. Give us one, give us like the primary villain from each side. I know the Court of Owls is like a group, but give us like the primary villain or villains from each side, and that's it. Don't make this a three a three way race. Don't make this like six different villains. Don't make it so that like the primary villain at the beginning of the game by the end of the game isn't even the primary villain. That's what I want this game to try to avoid. I think Arkham Asylum the reason it's my favorite is because it kept Joker you know set like he was the primary threat from beginning to end yeah I mean Harley was there and there were a, a killer croc like they were things in there Scarecrow had some things but for the most part like Joker was always the target and yeah Arkham City kind of split it Arkham Knight very much split it so I think they got away from that and again those are just that's just the trilogy that's not even Origins which is Warner Bros Montreal 
The second thing is it could be controversial, and it's also kind of, I feel like, hard to explain. There's really no, like, way I can put this into the actual game, is don't try to be like Spider-Man. And I guess what I kind of mean with that is I've seen a lot of comments being like, well, you know, they need, to, uh, basically saying, like, you got to do some of the stuff Spider-Man did. I've seen it more with, like, what they could do with the Living City. That's more okay if you're trying to take some of the things Spider-Man did with the Living City and implement in Batman. I've seen people say, like Batman has a slower style it's more heavy um, and where Spider-Man is more like fluid and fast I mean that's just their characters and I'm not I'm not like super disagreeing with those I'm not saying those people are wrong okay you can have if you're those people you can have your own opinion totally cool and if the game is like Spider-Man it may actually be for the better because Spider-Man was a phenomenal game all I mean with this is just don't try to be a game that you're not um, I know that you know if they've been working on this game for a long period of time then they were working on this you know while Spider-Man was was being worked on while Spider-Man came out. I don't think they would have completely like pivoted 180 when this game came out. When Spider-Man came out last year and said, "You know what? We got to change so many fundamental things about Batman to make it more like Spider-Man." It's gonna be slower. It's gonna be, uh, uh, you know, again, like kind of like more like clunky to move around. That's just how. Batman always has been. And I, I think I like that. I like that about Batman. I don't know which one I like b uh, better. I love swinging through the streets as Spider-Man, okay? It's one of the coolest things to do in gaming, and I think it always has been. It's just it's just fun. I mean, it, it just is. Um, but Batman, I loved gliding. I love the way they did I know a lot of people have said, like, they want to... And, well, here's, and here's the deal. I know people have said, like, they want the different ways of grappling around, like, literally swinging, making it a little bit faster. If you want to implement some changes of, like, traversal, that's fine. If it makes sense with Batman that's fine but basically this thing I don't want in the game is just trying just don't rip off other games don't try and be like other superhero games you are your own game you are an amazing franchise and, I, and we know that they can make their own game you don't need to be like something else the third thing is is kind of in the same vein as the first three it's not necessarily specific things in the game it's t and I what I don't want in this game telling a story that's already been told now again let me explain that um, I get the Court of Owls. And here's the deal. I, Alex, a podcast now, I don't even know all that much about the Court of Owls, okay? I don't know that much. Um, and I'm go I'm sure I'll end up looking it up and I'll know the story and I'll know the comics and I'll know the arcs. And, and I'll know basically, and I'm sure you guys will too, we will know or we already know like where the game will go, okay, with the Court of Owls. And besides that, we also know the leaks, which kind of makes it a, a little bit, you know, uh, bad that we maybe already know where the game's going to go. I'm sure more stuff will come out about the game once it's, uh, you know, kind of announced. So it's very possible we know the beginning, middle, end of this game before the game even comes out. It's also possible that if you know the the arc line of this, you know, of the story they're telling, that you'll be able to predict the entire story. Basically, what I'm saying is I don't want that. I want there to be secrets. I want there to be hidden stuff. I want there to be somewhere in there an original story that we haven't seen yet. And that's something that we just flat out. Ha I think. So, you know, I just talked about Arkham City with, like, Hugo. I think one of the things that made Arkham City so special is it was just so unique. Even Arkham Asylum to an extent. But Arkham City, just the way they went was just awesome. And, I like, I didn't see it coming. I didn't think what would happen at the end with Joker would happen. Okay, so, and they really got a lot of people with that ending. Arkham Knight, they did a couple things, but... The, that's one of the biggest uh, things you'll go to when I say, like, don't trust developers. Developers lie to you all the time. Publishers lie to you all the time. Remember Arkham Knight? They said that it's not going to be, like, the cookie-cutter Arkham Knight story we've already heard. It's, okay, it's not going to be Jason Todd. It's going to be their own telling. Arkham Knight could be blank. And people are coming up with theories. Could it be Joker? Could it be, could it be like, bad? Like, people are coming up with really, really weird ones. But people were coming up with theories, and it was really, really fun. And then what did they do? It was literally the same thing. It was everything thing we thought it was going to be, they did it. So I don't want that. I don't want a story that's super predictable. Uh, yeah, if you're going to go like some of the comic route, maybe you have to use some things, but I want there to be big twists. I want them to take, li like, and maybe some people won't, and, and obviously tell me in the comments below if you guys are like that. I want them to take liberties. I want them to change things. In this case, there are a lot of examples where I actually don't like that, but in this case, I do want them to change some, some things so that we can get a story that, like, I want to see what they can do. I want to see them do something that hasn't been done before. I want them to surprise us in some way. And you can't get that by ripping the entire – you can't get that by ripping the game off from somewhere else.
Okay, final two things is a little bit more game specific. I don't want detective mode the way that it's been in the past. And this is going to go towards a video I believe I'm going to make on Monday or Wednesday where I want to talk about detective mode. I really, and in that video, I want to talk about like revamping it. And if you guys have any suggestions, let me know because it's kind of hard for me to explain. I don't even know what I want them to do. But basically, my point is I don't love detective mode. I truly don't. I don't think it, like, yeah, it, it is, it's part of what like makes Batman Batman. I like being able to see through things. I like being able to see the enemies more in the in the style of like when you're actually fighting and when you're 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 planning your attack, you're using your different gadgets, you're doing stealth takedowns, stuff like that. That's when I like quote unquote detective mode. What I guess I mean more of is literally when you're solving things, when you're like when when there's like a chemtrail and you're and you're following it, stuff like that, or piecing together an investigation scene, those kind of things. I want that changed. I want it to be smart. I want it to be just, I mean, again, we'll talk about that more on, on Monday or Wednesday's video, but I just don't, for this video, for the purpose of this video, I don't want it to be what it's been. That's just a personal preference. I don't know how many people truly don't like detect. I don't hate detective mode. I just like when it is a detective mode sequence, it's like, eh. Like, this is boring. This isn't fun. I don't feel like I'm doing anything, like, smart. I don't feel like it's challenging. But at the same time, it's kind of annoying. It kind of breaks up, like, the more fast pace, uh, just the way that the game is. So I think it just gets in its own way too much, and it, I, I want it reimagined. Again, I could be one of the few. I could be one of the many. But let me know in the comments below. And the final thing goes to what you guys were saying in the comments. I wanted to try and include at least one thing that you guys were saying in the comments that you want. Um, I don't want to just play as Batman. I saw so many people. I mean, there's a lot of people throwing around co-op and stuff. The game is not, for as far as I know, and I, I just don't think this, just in my own opinion, I don't think the game is going to have any cooperative play uh, or any multiplayer or anything like that. I don't think they could handle it in, in terms of where this game has started and where this game is now. I don't think it's going to be like, like, like that. Now, with the Nemesis system, and we talked about that on Monday, how they would do it, it is very possible that we could like enlist the help of Robin and Nightwing and, and Catwoman and people like that to help us in just like day-to-day -day, like minute-to-minute -minute fights in the game I think that would be rather cool that would be a little bit more of like actually having like a squad which could get us ready for a Suicide Squad or a Justice League game from Rocksteady so they could have things like that and again people have thrown that around there's been leaks from the past games that Warner Bros Montreal has made whether they, you know they flat out fully cancel it or whether they took some of those ideas it is possible we have that and I have seen people say like let us free roam with Robin. Let us free roam with Nightwing. I think that would be really, really cool or to have like se uh, select sequences. I see it like a, as a Sly Cooper thing. Like remember the Sly games where there would be the missions and they would have the icons of like which character could do it. It wouldn't, I mean, and that's kind of a joke. It wouldn't literally be that but I could see, you know, quests and, and just things you do in the game or maybe side villains that are entirely just for other characters. Maybe introduce again, and people were saying that, like have a Joker side mission that like relates to Robin relates to Jason Todd or whatever like do something like that that could very well be it where like select villains select side missions can only be played as other as other characters so there's a lot they could do with it there's a lot of fun things they could do with it basically again like for this video what I don't want in the game I don't want to just play as Batman I think they could totally this could be the game that we play as other characters for like full missions and we actually get to do it so those are the five things, and again, like that was a that was a weird list. I, I actually really, really enjoyed having it be such a different list, but that's my list of five things I don't want in this game. Guys, let me know in the comments below things that you don't want in this game. Let me know things you do. Again, you know, the Friday video last week, I talked about the things I do want in this game, so make sure you check that out. Again, Friday's video is going to be talking about Origins Anniversary. If you guys don't like those videos, don't watch them. It's as simple as that. If you guys are, are against that kind of stuff, just don't watch that video. Next week, there'll be more discussion videos for the game and then whenever the game does get announced we will of course be covering it I'll do that seven eight day coverage I had promised you guys weeks ago so thank you all for watching make sure you guys are liking subscribing hitting that bell icon you guys have been doing an awesome awesome job and I hope to see you all on Friday's video